Hi, I'm Jason with Gear Talk, and today we're going to take a closer look at the Bush Buddy Ultra Wood Burning Stove. The Bush Buddy Ultra nests inside of a Snow Peak 900 titanium mug, which is also a good complement to this stove. And as you can see, it's a two piece construction made out of stainless steel. This top part nests in there like that and then what you do when you want to use it is you pull it out put it on top and you've got your pot supports so a lot of you know about this stove already so I'm not going to spend too much time going through the, the details but I just wanted to point out a few things the first is that this is a double wall construction and what that means is you get secondary combustion which basically just means you're going to get a much more efficient burn there, this thing leaves almost no ashes when it's done and another nice feature is unlike some wood burning stoves is that it collects all the ash in the bottom so it doesn't leave any kind of scorching or pile of ashes on the floor. You can easily just take this off when you're done, take the few ashes that are left and scatter them out so it's a little bit more environmentally friendly. Anyway, let's go light it up. All right, before we begin, I just wanna take a quick moment to point something out. One of the biggest problems most people have with getting a wood-burning stove is they don't spend enough prep time. As you can see here, I've already got my wood piles cut out. I've got my kindling here and then some slightly larger pieces to feed in there. So it, ta it pays to really spend a little time and actually get your wood ready before you start the stove. You don't want to be scrambling for wood at the last minute when you run out. Uh, there's an old adage that go gather as much wood as you think you need and then triple it. So I haven't really done that here today because I know that the stove's pretty efficient, but it's a good rule of thumb for most wood burning stoves and uh, even if you're just making a campfire. Water temp is about 60 degrees and the ambient air temp is about 48. There are a lot of different methods I could use to light the stove. Today I'm going to be using a shredded up tampon. Some of you might have seen the video I did on that, but that's one of my new kind of favorite fire starters. And then I'll be using REI stormproof matches just because it's a little windy out here today and I don't want to mess around with the fire steel and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and light it. I'm going to put the tinder inside the burning chamber, light my stormproof match and just drop it in there. Then I'm going to start slowly adding my thinner twigs, my kindling. It's okay if some of the pieces are long at first, they'll burn down. I'm just going to keep adding kindling until that stove gets hot enough to start putting some larger pieces of wood in there. So that's starting to go pretty good now. I'm gonna go ahead and put the pot on and turn the timer on. Now as it's burning, you can use this fuel port here on the side to put more pieces of wood in. If you don't want to stand around the stove and, and watch it like a hawk all day, uh, you can basically just put larger pieces of wood, thicker pieces. Um, it'll just burn a lot longer and you won't have to keep feeding it. This stove's pretty efficient, so I find I don't have to feed it too much. And we've got to boil at about six and a half minutes. Not too bad for a wood-burning stove. So that's the Bush Buddy Ultra. Very efficient stove. As you can see, I didn't use a lot of the wood that I actually collected because the stove is very efficient. So that's one of the things I really like about it. Now, I've heard a lot of people comment that this stove takes a lot of practice to learn how to use. I just don't find that to be true. I actually think it's one of the easiest wood burning stoves I've ever used. It's pretty easy to light if you think about it. Drop some tinder in there. The key is to just start with small uh, kindling, not to put too much wood in, in at the same time. And that's probably the Achilles heel of all uh, wood burning stoves and the, and the biggest mistake people make. So as long as you, you, know, you do it right, um, this stove is very easy to use. I think it's very user friendly for a beginner. However, having said that, one of the main criticisms of this stove is its price. They're about $150. That may seem like a lot of money for something that looks like a paint can with a bunch of holes punched in it, but it's a lot more than that. This, this is really engineered well. There's a lot more to it than just a bunch of holes randomly drilled. A lot of thought and engineering went into this. So I guess my advice is, if you're someone who likes wood-burning stoves, and you already know that that's your preferred choice of cooking, $150 is an excellent value for this stove. If you think about it, you'll never have to pay for fuel again, and the stove runs for free. It's very durable, probably lasts you a lifetime. 
if you're on the fence about alcohol or about wood stoves and you're not really sure if you like them or not, you don't, you're not sure if you're gonna like dealing with soot and your fire skills aren't that good, you probably don't wanna shell out 150 bucks for this right off the bat. You might wanna start with something cheaper like a Jim Falk uh, wood burning stove or something else or make your own first and decide if you like it, then shell out the money for this. But I, I don't see the price as a negative point. Very, very well uh, machine piece of gear and uh, great stove. And let's, uh, while we're at it, let's just, this is finally cool enough to touch now, so let's just see how much ash this produced. That's it. This tiny little pile. Very, very efficient stove. So anyway, Bush Buddy Ultra.